in today's video, I will be building an abandoned spooky dooky little house in my lakeside town, which was suggested by Bloxy Boys. So thank you so much for that. Um, I don't know how haunted it's gonna be though, because I don't have any of the Halloween items, so it'll probably just be abandoned. Um, and if you have not heard already, um, I'm sick, so my voice is a bit congested, so don't mind that. So for the idea of where to put the actual house, um, Grace Plays That Slay suggested to put it on a hill, which is actually a really good idea because, you know, we have no other space, so it's really the only option anyway. So I'm just gonna clear out this, um, already questionably made layout, um, and then I'll just see how big the house is gonna be from there. Now that we have a clean canvas to work with, um, I'm going to start plotting out the kind of shape of it. Um, I have done uh, a couple of videos ago for the new um, update that Bloxburg added, I made an abandoned house. And so since I've already made one, I don't want to make it identical to that one, but I want to kind of do the same kind of thing, but like make it more detailed. So yeah. I don't want to make it the exact same, otherwise that would just be boring. This is the kind of stuff that's showing up. Um, it's not really Bloxburg material, but um, you know, we can work around it. I just wanted to let you guys know that um, I have like 10 freaking video ideas in line that have been suggested that I have to do. So if yours doesn't get answered right away or if I like don't end up doing it for 10 years, um, don't take it to heart because I have a fat long list of um, just ideas that I have need to complete. So if I like don't do it, don't take it to heart kids. I really want to add a custom chimney, but like make, I can make the bricks custom and then I can kind of make it more run down and stuff. Yeah, like these. This is going to cost a lot of money. Paint rock, no money on my car. <laughs> oh, that was moist. Shimmy, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, yeah. What the heck? That is not worth that money at all. I spent like 30k on that. This looks like crap. <laughs> I really want to do so much stuff, but then I'm going to be copying what I did on the other video. So I've got to be creative, you know? So, okay, maybe this just this once, I'm not going to be creative and I'm going to add a deck just like the other one. I feel like these pillars are a bit too luxurious for this, but you know, it is fine. Um, I'm just gonna resize these. And then for the- <gasps> Oh, 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 wait, 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 I have an idea. So this can be like, you know how roofs have like, the base of it is like wood and wood paneling and stuff. I'm gonna do that, so it kind of makes the uh, roof look a bit more run down. I probably won't do it for the whole roof because I don't even know how I would be able to do that. But um, just for this uh, front porch roof, I'll do it. I'm gonna make it look like the FBI came and knocked down their door. So I'm gonna make a custom door on the floor. <laughs> that rhymes. <laughs> I'm a poet and didn't even know I was rhyming those words. This is a clear indication that I ever so badly, huh? that's, that, that, doesn't, that doesn't make sense. But I really badly need to buy the transform tool. Like, look at this. What in the heck? <laughs> I'm confused. Instead of adding the um, already pre-built windows, I might add a few. But I want to make it a bit more custom and just make it look better so i'm gonna make my own custom rundown windows i don't know how good that's gonna turn out but we'll see Whoop. this is this is so much logic like <laughs> it totally makes sense how the window is like 
bent like that, you know? I'm gonna plonk that. Oh my gosh, this chimney is questioning my life choices so much. It looks something looks like something out of Hulu, bro. Oh, 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 I just got an idea. To make it even more run down, I could add a big like hole in the roof and then it can just have like oh my gosh, I can't speak. But it can give some sunlight and just air yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um into the house and yeah, it'll just look more run down. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay, so this is the idea I was talking about earlier where I wanted to add some tiles so I can like also add it on the front porch roof as well. So I'm just going to resize a couple of these and just spam them all across the roof. I'm going to add just a couple little roof shingles also on the ground as well and I'm just going to make it as kind of cluttered as I can and just add as much detail as I can which is yeah it's gonna make my money cry even more oh what I could add to make it a little bit spooky um I can add those um you know how in a lot of those scary houses they have those white curtains and they're kind of run down um I can't really do that but like this is close enough, you know, um, just to give it that spooky doozy vibe. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm kind of liking it, just accept that weird little chimney. I'm really sorry, because I, I know you guys probably wanted me to make a cool big haunted house with lots of rooms and just more spooky stuff. Um... But like this plot is so tiny that I could, it would literally take up half the size of my plot to make a big mansion. So yeah, sorry if that's not what you wanted. Um, I hope you like this questionable little house. <laughs> oh, sweetheart, I'm so sorry. I don't speak Taco Bell. I could not add like any flipping bed in this room. I don't know why I decided to make this so small. This is like just like my apartment that I made last video. It just can't fit anything. There's not really that much spooky items in Boxburg. I don't know why I'm saying spooky. It's just fun to say instead of haunted. Um, oh, there's a dollhouse. Like, you know how they have those. Actually, I don't know, but they could have a dollhouse. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to add that. And then we, of course, need the classic painting of whoever lives here or lived here. And, yeah. I actually don't know what era this house is supposed to be. If it's supposed to be, like, I like a wood cabin in the forest or if it's supposed to be a Victorian house. I don't know. This is a mix of everything. Oh, I forgot to add the actual fireplace. Um, so I'm going to add, like... Um, they added the re they recently added the hole in the wall, so I'm gonna add that. Oh, I have like no sense of logic, like in general, just anything. I'm adding, <laughs> I'm adding a pot with a fire, yet we have a flipping stove right beside it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so powerful. My mind, oh, it amazes me sometimes. I should have an octane level. Oh, I just remembered we need to add the mouse hole somewhere in here. Um, I'm just gonna look. See, literally all I have in my inventory is Christmas stuff. I never stock up on Halloween stuff because, I don't know, I just never use it. Um, oh, dang it, because I, I made the, I don't even know why I made the floors, like, unevenly roofed. That was a dumb idea. Um, oh no, I don't know where to add it. Okay, the bathroom it is. Um, so that's where the little mouse is going to be hanging around while you do your business. I think the inside is pretty much done for now. So all I need, all that's left to do is color. And I also need to add the outside scenery. So I'm just going to add a whole bunch of bushes and just like overhanging plants and stuff on the whole build. Um, <laughs> I forgot to add steps up to the actual house, so I'm glad I remember that now. 
Yo, it's gonna break, bro. I'm not just gonna work. Yo, it's gonna break, bro. I'm not just gonna work. Codweb. Cod what the heck? Why did I just say codwebs? Cobwebs. Oh. That is the one thing that I'm missing. I can't believe I forgot that. Oh, I forgot about these. <laughs> oh, yes. That's suspicious. That's weird. Okay, so basically everything is done now. So I'm just going to color off camera and I'll see you guys when I reveal. Oh my gosh, I am so broke. I made $6, but um, I'm finally finished. Um, this is how it turned out. Um, I added a lot of over growing plants and stuff and just a lot of trees surrounding it. It is a bit dark. I might add some candles later, but I can't add anything because I have six bucks. Um, so yeah, just expect that for another time. But um, I'm just going to try climbing up here to show you the roof. But this is how it looks. Oh, oh my goodness. Get out. Okay, this is how it looks up here. I really like the detail and especially the hole in the roof. It's just oh, oh, chef's kiss. Here's a 360 view in build mode. I am actually really happy with how it turned out. I just love all the little details in the roof. I think the roof is just my favorite part. It's low-key giving me Shrek vibes from my Shrek house I built. But anyway, um, this is the front porch where the door is. I actually really like how it turned out. Um, so, and then this is the doorway. Here. Oh, actually, um, I did add some little details on the windows here with some broken shattered glass. I love that little effect. Um, but anyway, this is the interior. Um, I just kept, I kept it not, oh, okay, that's quite dark <laughs> but um i kept it not too cluttered because uh and like nice i guess i tried to keep it a bit more run down and i had a lot of cobwebs as well i really love i really love the hole in the roof it's like my favorite part of this whole thing and here is the little crusty little bedroom for dollhouse and a mattress um and some paintings and then the last room we have is the bathroom, the little mouse hole over here. It's so cute. Okay, um, it's actually, I, I've got it at night now and it's actually 10 times scarier at night, which I love. Oh, oh God, what is that? Oh, oh, um, ignore that. But yeah, this is what it looks like at night. I need to go have a little tinkle. Oh my goodness, what is this? <gasps> Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed